Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This video is another trying new things. Special thanks to Three Boy Mom who recommended that I check out Equip or Equip. It's an interesting acronym. It's I H K W I P, and they're available online, and uh, you can get them from QVC and elsewhere. They're an up-and-coming brand. Um, I'll put a little bit of information down below in the comment or remarks, but there I got these two bags from QVC. So they're very much uh, similar to the on the go from Vera Bradley and um, that size and range and basic configuration. So let's take a look at them. We'll look at one and then the other, but they are quite similar in size and config. Um, okay, so this first one is the convertible top handle quilted shoulder bag. Um, it's very descriptive what it in fact is. It has this removable adjustable handle. It's like seatbelt strapped with uh, adjusting slider there. It has an extensive range. So from the shortest here, it's, it's a good shoulder length. And for me, I'm a big girl and I like crossbody low hanging. So it easily goes there as well. The material feels very nice. These bags are a lot like lug bags, if, if you're a fan of those. Um, but they actually came very quickly from QVC. This bag has a sort of triangular crescent shape to it. Bigger on the bottom, narrower on the top. It has, I'm sorry, my dog is barking at the pool guy. <laughs> she's terrible. Uh, I mean, she's a great dog, but she's bad about that. Um, anyways, it has on the, each side it has a little snap cargo pocket so you can put things in there It won't fit a water bottle or anything, but you could you could put your phone. I think let's see I have the 13 Pro Max and it does fit there I wouldn't personally carry it there, but you could if you wanted a quick access I would use it for like a coin purse a, a card case um, Keys things like that. It does have that snap closure so things aren't just gonna fall out. So that is nice and both sides are the same. On the front, you have a, a sort of a hidden pocket. Behind that, you have a little zipper here all the way across. And inside, you have a built-in wallet. It has, it doesn't have a um, cash drawer, if you will. There's plenty of space here. You could even put a regular wallet inside the pocket or a pouch. It has a little bit of room to it, even though it's not obvious. It's about a finger width thick. And inside you have eight card slots, four and four, built into the back of the bag there, or the pocket. Um, and it's kind of a recessed zipper, so it's almost like a hidden pocket there. On the back, you have a zipper pocket. This pocket is soft lined. This is their signature cell phone pocket, if you will. You could put your glasses or other things in there too, but it's very soft, so my big 13 Pro Max fits nicely right in there. Then there's plenty of room for other things, but it is very, very soft inside. It's quite nice. Um, so that's it. And the hardware on here, it's a small zipper pull. It's plenty big. It's kind of a rubberized feel to it, and it has the initials equip on there as well. Um, the end hardware, I don't see any markings. It's just plain black. Same with the loops. Um, this is like a faux leather connection here. And then on the front you have, of course, the label Equip. That's their icon. That's a rubberized thing sewn on the bag. All right, inside the bag you have a full top zipper across the top. And then inside you have a privacy zipper on the back. And on the front you have two cargo pockets. They're elastic. And you have, mounted right here by the zipper pull, you have a key leash. It's not elastic, but it does have a clip on the end right there. So that's nice. I usually hook coin purses and things to those. Uh, but very nice. The strap is detachable, so you could use it with other straps. You can mix, mix and match. Um, this type of strap um, does tend to rub my neck. My neck is quite sensitive, so if I'm wearing bags with this kind of strap crossbody, that edge is just a little rough for me. So I probably personally may change the strap out, but it's not a bad strap. It's just that I have to put fabric between my neck and the bag strap. That's just me. Um, but there you go. And then for storage, I just tuck the strap inside. Put the tags in there too, so I don't get ripped off. I take the tags off once I use it the first time, but 
There you go. And this came to me folded. So again, for storage, I just tend to store them the same way they came to me. So I just kind of put it like that. And in my closet, I have them all lined up like that. Okay, so that's the first one. And then quick look comparison to the other one. The second bag is slightly larger. And it, hang on, I can't see the name of it. It is the Zigzag Convertible Shoulder Bag. Like I said, I got both of these from QVC. Um, you do have to kind of shop around if you find a bag that you like because some were available on QVC and not available on Equip site and vice versa. Or you can see the same bag but not in the color you like. So do a little shopping. They are available and you can find them. Like I said, this second one is a little bit bigger. Also has a little bit more options. It has the same type of strap, except this one has silver hardware, um, and it has a bigger loop on the end. Mox next either way on that, but it does fit. I have it way low on my hip, so I actually would shorten that a little bit, maybe here. So I like it again, low on my hip where I could reach everything to the bottom of the bag, but very comfortable otherwise. And this is where even this thin shirt that I have on is enough just to take that strap off the skin. But this bag comes with a second strap, and this strap, oh, and let's see what it's made of. It's like, um, it's the same material, but it's got a structure in there. So it's rigid, but, but flexible, semi-rigid, let's call it, and has two snaps. So you would take those two snaps, and you can, I guess you could do it either way, inside or out. We'll do it outside. Snap, snap. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this strap off completely for now. You could leave them on simultaneously. It would work. But this gives you a nice, more of a hobo look or um, shoulder bag only. Kelly, my goodness. It's okay. Come on. Good girl. She doesn't like the pool guy. The pool guy is fine, by the way. She's fine. But he doesn't. she doesn't like... The pole, you know, he has a pole with a net or a brush. He, she doesn't like the pole. So since he always has that, she always gets upset. <laughs> anyway, okay. So this bag with that strap, there you go. Again, it is a little bit bigger, but you have that nice, just fits right in there very comfortably on his shoulder. Okay, so you have options. That's nice. This one has side pockets as well, but these ones are zippered and they zip all the way down the front. And then inside, they're different one side to the other. There's a gusset, so it won't just like open and drop everything. But you, again, you could put keys or cards or things in there. This side has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card slots right there. And so you could put them literally in the slots, or you could put a little card case just in the pocket, or your keys, or your sunglasses, your phone, whatever. So. Both sides have that little zipper pocket. And this side, the configuration is different. This one has two elastic loops in there. So you could put your chapstick or your makeup brush or a pen, pencil, whatever. They're generously sized, so you could fit pretty much any type of pen in there. And keep it separate from any of the rest of your stuff. It does have on the back a cell phone pocket, same as the other, soft lined, super soft. It's, it's uh, very nice. And then on the front of this one, there is a little snap pocket right here. And this is really great for me. I like, um, I, I probably won't use this strap as much, honestly. So let me just take that off for now, because it keeps getting in my way. Because I like the option of just throwing it over my shoulder and going crossbody. But, um, but right here, this pocket, it just has a little snap and it looks like a cell phone pocket, but actually this pocket goes all the way across the bag. So it does go all the way over here. Inside, you also have a key leash inside that pocket. So for me, I might put my keys there and let them flow to that side of the bag. And then I might just drop my phone in there because then it's quick access. And it might lay down, but I can just reach in there very easily and get it out. Um, and then I might sometimes just use the back pocket. I don't know. I will see when I use it what strikes my fancy. Uh, but inside, this one has a little bit different configuration. Basically, is the same. You got a zipper pocket and two cargo pockets on the front. But you also have 
On this end, you have a drink holder pocket. It's like a mesh with a fill. So it's not just mess, it actually has a little fabric behind it. So that's nice. It's not insulated, but it will hold your drink or something upright, or you can just put other things in there. You can kind of see it right on the side, right there. The, the bags, like I said, they're like a nylon. They're very lug-like, but they feel a little bit more robust of a fabrication. Um, they do have different quilting. This one has the zigzags, which is in the name, and then this one has the squares. And the squares are double-stitched, as are the zigzags. Both of them are double-stitched, but quite nice. They feel good. I think they're gonna be pretty durable. The insides are light-colored, but very plain. Both of them are the same or dare I say boring gray, but it's fine. I'm not super concerned about the interior there. Um, both very functional and I look forward to giving them a try. And again, thank you to Three Boy Mom for recommending them. Several others have mentioned them since then and some of my other fellow YouTubers who are Vera and or love lovers have tried them as well. And everybody has nothing but good things to say. I am uh, gonna give these a try and I'm very optimistic. They will be a great addition to my collection. Bye for now.